The musician. Judgment is here. So judgment in the musician is um somebody could have been using some type of tr trickery or manipulation and um they thought that they were going to manifest um, something using this trickery and manipulation. They thought that they were, you know, like, had control over people or a person. They could have thought they had control over you. They could have thought they had control over someone that you were attached to. And um, they're sitting back receiving some type of karma or judgment for whatever they had and did in a tricky uh, way. Yeah, it's in the swords is here. This is somebody that betrayed you, backstabbed you with multiple people. They wanted you pent down for harsh, painful endings. And they had people helping them do this to you. And it's like, whoever helped them betray you, backstab you, these multiple people, they're experiencing that same karma as that person. This is what they've manifested. Yeah, and they're not happy about it. Nine of cups in the reverse. They can no longer sit back over indulging in toxic patterns, whatever they were doing, ganging up behind the scenes to try to betray you. They can no longer do that. They can no longer sit back getting high, getting drunk, watching you, trying to destroy your happiness. It didn't work. These are people that were very low vibrational and your vibration is too high. That's why they had them place this center source on their back. And they had them pit their self down for harsh, painful endings. And they're going through karma. They're receiving judgment. Yeah, tower is here. It's like they're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices after trying to cause a tower moment for you. Because they didn't want you to be happy. They didn't want other people to look at you as wish fulfillment. People weren't looking at them as wish fulfillment. Now they're sitting back going through whatever tower moment or crisis or destruction that they tried to cause in your life. And the people that were helping them. Yeah, this was a secret. The moon card is here. This was something that they wanted to keep secret and keep hidden. They were secretly playing with, you know, some type of magic. As I say, this, this musician is here. These people thought they were going to manifest your harsh, painful endings. And it's like multiple people got behind the scenes to backstab you because they didn't want you to be happy. They could have seen you in this Nine of Cups energy, happy by yourself. And it's like a whole bunch of people got behind the scenes trying to cause some type of tower moment for you and they wanted to keep it hidden. They're sitting back going through karma judgment for what they had done did in secret. They had not brought conflict around them. Five of Wands is here. They're all, they all could be sitting back fighting each other into it with each other. And they didn't know they had them place conflict on their self and not you. Yeah, they're at the Ten of Wands feeling pressure and burden and weighed down. A lot of stuff in their face that they could not see and a lot of stuff on their back that they could not weigh. And they thought that they were going to manifest. It's like these people, these are people that use manipulation and trickery to get whatever they want. And um, they thought that, it, that whatever manipulation tactics that they were using was going to get them, you know, some type of manifest. Something was, they would manifest. They thought they would be creative in some type of way. Hold on one second. They thought that they would be able to manifest in some type of way. 
So, you know, they were playing with magic, but they wanted to keep it a secret. The moon card is here. Whatever they picked up and played with, they didn't know that it was already under judgment. It was already pent down for harsh, painful endings, the energy that they caught on. And it had been that way for a long time. They just didn't know. That is some conflict to their self. Heavy burdens on their self. Yeah, and cause different people to walk away. Eight of Cups is here. A lot of people were sitting back that um clicked up at this five of wands. It was, it was just too much weight on them. All this karma that was hitting them for whatever they had and did to you, it was too much on them. That's why they were going through conflict amongst each other because they didn't have to do whatever they did to you. And they ended up walking away from each other. Eight of Cups is here. They don't even want to be around each other no more. Whatever they had a ganged up to do to invest, invest into um, trying to pin you down at the Ten of Swords, now they're walking away from each other. They just weighed their self down trying to pin you down. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here. They were just at the Knight of Wands quick, doing a whole bunch of stuff without thinking. Just ran in quick, head on collision, up into something. I'm, I'm, I'm getting... Whoever these energies is, they ran in quick and started playing with uh, spell work over you. And they didn't know whatever they were playing with, it was cursed and hexed and put down for them to go through judgment and karma. Yeah, they just picked up spell work and they just thought they were finna manifest whatever they want, whatever they want. And as they first picked it up, the devil did give them something. So they thought, okay, this is easy. They didn't know what the devil was, you know, wanted back. They didn't know what they would have to sacrifice. They just ran in quick, night of wands, and they didn't even think about it before they did it. As this horse is not even looking forward. They weren't even thinking about what, what would they have to sacrifice in the future. What would take place? They had to trick their self, trying to trick other people. Yeah, nine of swords is in the reverse. Whatever they had not ran around and tried to, they could have wanted you to uh, be in your head. Wanted people to look at you as crazy. Somebody that's like a mental prison in their head. Whatever gossip they came in, spread, tried to spread on you, it didn't work. And they don't want people to know that they're stressed out. They can't even sleep at night. They're trying to figure out why you sleeping like a baby in the nine of swords in the reverse. Whatever gossip or rumors that were spread on you, it didn't phase you because you knew it wasn't true. Yeah, empress is here. You're an empress. You're someone that's a divine feminine type of energy. Very mature. You had not went through a lot embodying every queen in the deck. Came out one of the most powerful queens in the deck. Someone that's building their own empire. You could have your own empire. You're someone that's very abundant. As you're sitting in your own energy. And you're just sitting back manifesting whatever it is you want. Attracting whatever it is you want. As they had to pick up, you know, trickery and play with spell work to try to send conflict to you, compete with you because you're in this Empress energy. Yeah, the high priestess is here. They wanted to keep that hidden. They didn't want people to know they wanted to be you. They didn't want people to know they were intimidated by you and they wanted to walk in your energy. They didn't want people to know this. They wanted to keep it hidden. But you someone that, you know, this empress is someone who, you know, very intuitive. Embodying every queen in the deck and then a high priestess popping out. You're someone that knew these people's secrets. You could be someone that reads tarot. Or you watch tarot. And um, they went to some type of practitioner and they wanted to keep it hidden as well to try to harvest and feast on your energy. Because they knew you were a divine being. They didn't know whoever they went to what result in them being at this Ten of Swords pent down for harsh, painful endings. They could have made some type of sacrifice and that was this secret. The moon card is here and they're in fear. They caused a lot of drama around them, pressure around them. Different people were, you know, going through a lot of stuff that they clicked up to, together behind the scenes with to try to pin you down. And they didn't know what this person had them sacrifice. As they stayed attached to that energy, they were going through tower moments. They were going through judgment. They were being pent down. They were seeing harsh, pain, painful endings for their self and people that they're attached to. Queen of Pentacles is here. 
This person thought that they were going to gain a whole bunch of money. This is someone that's very materialistic and they were just focused on money, finances. They thought they were going to be a wealthy woman or a wealthy man. Just, it's this energy. You have to take it where it resonates. But this person thought they were going to be, become someone that was very wealthy. Yeah, star card in the reverse. This is someone that didn't want to heal. They didn't even know you were healed. Didn't know you were spiritually awake. This is somebody that just picked up something that they seen and started playing with it. And they haven't been doing this for a long time with this moon card being here. This is somebody that has secrets that run deep. They haven't been playing with spell work for a long time. Had people going through conflict, drama, chaos that they were attached to. Stuff, people were being pinned down. People could have passed away because of this person playing with spell work as they were trying to pin you down. Secretly. And they didn't know they were pinning their self down and people that they were attached to. All because they didn't want to heal and they did not know that you were woke. The star card is here. Yeah, two of swords is here. They were sitting back at the two of swords blinded from the truth thinking that they had you at the four of swords isolated in solitude. They were blinded to the fact that you hadn't already been in isolation, land situations to rest, and you don't even be around people. You keep your, your energy recharged. You're mindful of who you even go around. You were someone that were already isolated from different people, eva reevaluating things that took place in your life. You were um, rehabilitating your energy. And as I say, land situations to rest. This person was blinded at the two of swords from the truth, playing with stuff they know nothing about. Yeah, six of pentacles is here, equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. And that's what this person had to learn. They haven't sat back and watched you, and they're not happy about that. They see you in this empress energy. They see their self at this two of swords energy, and they haven't laid their self to rest, trying to play with you and playing your energy. Four of swords and two of swords. They didn't know as they thought they had them blinded you from the truth and you were at the four of swords in isolation. They didn't know that four plus two equals six of swords. You had to been divinely guided to sail away and you were woke, physically, mentally, and spiritually awake. Yeah, the world is here. You're someone that had not completed out a toxic cycle and you were gone. You're in a whole nother cycle. And this person was just pinning their self down. For harsh, painful endings and people that they're attached to. Not you. Yeah, the hermit card is here. Somebody could have ghosted you. And it was because you were in a whole nother cycle. And this person needed to heal. Whoever this person is that ghosted you. Yeah, page of swords in the reverse. This is somebody that could have been spying on you. So it's like... Whoever this person is that ghosted you, they needed to go within to investigate their self. And um, somebody came in with some negative news, negative slander and gossip. Page of Swords in the reverse is like, you know, negative gossip, slander and lies and things like that. And that's why this person ghosted you. Yeah, Three of Wands is here. They thought that whatever, these people thought when this person ghosted you, whoever these multiple people is that's going through judgment and they're not happy, they thought this person ghosted you and whatever magic or um, manipulation that they were playing with was working. They didn't know it was only working on them and the people that they were attached to. <laughs> they were sitting back waiting on their ships to come in at this three of wands. And they were just, you know, playing with different spells and just waiting on everything to come in. And it was just coming in around them and the people that they were attached to. And they're at the Three of Swords taking losses, going through heartache that they had them placed on their self, being heartbroken. That's it. Yeah, justice is here. Justice was being served and they were issuing out justice for their self and judgment for their self and they didn't know. Playing with stuff they know nothing about. Yeah, the death card is here. They had them place death on their self. Caught, brought the angel of death around them. Picking up stuff and playing with stuff they know nothing about. They thought they had them isolated you, you to be laid to rest. 
Are you already going in a whole nother cycle? Is that the ten of swords pinning their self down for a harsh, painful ending? Playing with stuff that's cursed and hacks. This is sad. Yeah, five of swords. These are people that are under heavy mind control. Self-sabotaging type of people. You know, this person had to defeat it theirself. You didn't have to do anything but sit back in this empress energy. Walk in your own energy and that's it. Yeah, you were working on yourself and minding your business by yourself. Eight of Pentacles. And it's like a whole bunch of people got behind the scenes to try to backstab one person. Because they didn't want them to be happy. They didn't want someone to look at them as wish fulfillment. Because people weren't looking at them as wish fulfillment. And they took it out on you in a sneaky deceptive way with this moon card being here. They thought it would stay hid, be, you know, hidden. Didn't know that you were spiritually awake. Yeah, two of cups is here. Yeah, two of cups, eight of pentacles. They're, they were envious of you partnering up with someone, working with someone. And um, these two people have mutual love for each other. And it's like two people are exchanging cups. So whatever emotions this person had for you, they were going to exchange that to you. Whatever emotions you have for this person, you were going to exchange that to them. And they did all of this behind the scenes to prevent this person from coming towards you to express the way they felt. Yeah, Six of Wands is here. This person holds you in high honor. They respect you. This person see you as someone that's having victory and someone that's very successful. Yeah, Six of Wands and Two of Cups. This is like a power couple. Two people that are like famous. Yeah, the chariot is here. It's like um, you're moving forward in life. You and this person both are moving forward in life. And this, you and this person is going to be successful. This is like a successor. The chariot with the six of wands. And then you have two of cups. So this person only ghosted you because they needed to work on their self. They needed to go within to investigate their self. You were already in isolation and in solitude, getting enlightened and getting woke. You were already cleansing yourself or already healed at the Six of Swords. You know, being divinely guided to sail away from things that no longer serve. So both of y'all still needed to work on yourself before y'all could come together and, um, you know, exchange cups. And y'all are going to be someone that's very successful. A couple that's very successful. Yeah, King of Cups is here. This is somebody that's in love with you. They have emotions for you. Someone that's emotionally balanced, emotionally mature. And um, they needed to get in this energy so they can be able to express their self properly to you. As you're in this Empress energy, you're embodying every queen in the deck. And also the High Priestess is next to that. So it's like you were already in energy, you know, mature energy. As this Empress is like a mature woman. But this person needed to um, be able to express their self properly to you. That's why they ended up having to ghost you. Yeah, because you, you, you had this person nervous. Nine of Wands, the energy that you walked in. It made this person nervous. And they're nervous. They're guilty for ghosting you. They feel, you know, guilty or something like that. They're in guilt. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here. And Six of Cups. Yeah. They're in guilt because this person possibly knew in the past that they were supposed to build a Ten of Pentacles with you. Yeah, or if it wasn't that, then it's um something happened in the past. They went back to somebody else in the past and they thought whoever this person is, this Queen of Pentacles, that this tricky person that was you know, sitting back envious and jealous of you and this person. They didn't know that this person manipulated them into thinking that they were someone that's loyal, someone that they can trust. This person is someone that's very superficial. They only cared about money. 
on what they can get out of this person or this situation. And they had this person thinking that they were going to build a Ten of Pentacles with them. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. They knew that whoever this uh, Five of Swords energy is, this person that was uh, jealous and envious of you and ganged up a whole bunch of people to backstab you and betray you, they knew this person wanted to connect with you. And they knew this person was in love with you, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups and Knight of Cups. They knew. And then you have the King of Cups here. They knew. And that's why they did this. They picked up magic and started playing with it to the point where they had to place some type of death magic on you. And they didn't know they were placing it on their self and people that they're attached to. 